Hey there, Brewberries. What's up? And welcome to another episode of the Brewery. What in the world just happened? I don't know what that earthquake was about, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Um, welcome on back to another episode of the Brewery. I hope you guys are excited for it today. I'm excited. Also, do the wall do the walls look different? Was that plant there before? Yeah, this seems a little different. What's going on? I mean, I like it. I like the aesthetic and all, but like this seems darker. Seems a little bit more dark. Then we didn't have a grill there before, like a, a metal thing. And this, I like the floor. I dig it. Okay. Not really sure. Uh, what's going on here? But... Uh, excuse me? What? Where are we? What the heck? This is not where I built my house. And that is not what the chimney looked like. Oh my gosh. This is crazy looking. D is everything still here? Do we got everything? Okay, we got the tanning station stuff here. Okay. Uh, our pot, our pot's still here. The flowers. Uh, anvil, of course, looking just perfect and fine as usual. Uh, it seems like our wood pile. The roof is the same. Stone cutter is here. A little different spot, but it's relatively the same. Seems like our little smithy is all right. Cutting, cutting stone or stone cutting or whatever grindstone. That's what it is. Our little desk is the same. It doesn't. So it doesn't look like we have anything missing. But my gosh, what was that? I don't know what's going on over there. But and what's that? What? What? Whoa! 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 What? What is this? Seems like a little bit of a pathway goes down this way. What is that? Okay, so the, I guess our waystone, our waystone made it. Okay, what areas do we got? Well, I've never been to a mesa before, but storage, homestead. Okay, so this it is our house. It's our homestead. Did our cows make it? Oh, oh, yeah, our cows did make it. They look a little bit different, but it seems like they made it. What's over this way? Oh, hey, are you pig? You look a little different, too. Whoa, OK, so well, there's a village, so is I mean, it feels relatively the same. Aside from the terrain being entirely different and uh, way cooler, I'm not I don't really know what's going on, but uh, I guess we'll accept it. Charades aside, welcome on back to the second episode of the brewery. And you can tell uh, things are quite a bit different. Uh, I uh, messed up last episode and uh, I thought we were going to be playing in a Terraforged world, which is a mod that makes this beautiful, beautiful landscape stuff. Uh, but I messed up and I didn't realize you had to select the Terraforged world type in order to have a Terraforged world. So uh, we didn't have one in the first episode. So I decided to take it upon myself to and basically just redo all of episode one off camera to make sure that we were exactly where we left off. The house is exactly the same aside from the block palette. And we're actually in the location that we're going to be building. Uh, I did quite a bit of wandering around all over the place looking for a place to get a good location going. And um, I found this area and I'm really quite pleased with it. It's a, quite an epic little area we've got. And I mean, I guess when I say little, it's actually pretty massive. 
Um, for any of you who may be wondering what shaders I'm using, I'm using complementary shaders. That is uh, what I have found actually runs the best for me and looks pretty good as well. I really dig how they look. The only issue I have is that anvil thing. If you can tell me how to fix the anvil texture to show up in shaders, I, I, I'll kiss you right on the forehead. This is the problem that I want fixed. If you know how, please let me know how. It's driving me insane. But the reason why I found this location to be the best for us is one, look prime house location. I mean, look how great that is. But also this location right here, this little kind of plateau-y area here, this to me flatten it out a little bit and uh, we've got ourselves a beautiful town square area. I think this could be really, really cool for town square. Cause I mean, look at it. You then have just this epic area here where this just goes down a little bit. We could have road a roadway that goes all the way up or we can just let it be a cliff and cascade down and to our doom. But I also then think that we can have like cool farms and stuff down over in this area because there's a lot more grass and stuff. Oh, I'm I'm very, very excited. So uh, as you can see, the like main difference with the house is just the wall materials that I used. Uh, they Instead of the Anaratha uh, that we used, it's uh, just limestone and limestone bricks and mossy limestone. Uh, with I think there's a mossy limestone brick in there as well uh, on my journey here I found some vines, but we need to find some more because I was an absolute idiot and I didn't actually Keep one vine to, to be able to grow more. I was a fool an absolute fool and didn't keep any so we're gonna have to figure that out but for the most part we have everything that we had in last episode aside from a few things so i've been uh, mining some iron and stuff we've got some coal raided some various villages along my way and so we've got quite a bit here and i and of course i've used quite a bit of hay actually for the top part but because i actually knew what the build power was going to be for at least the roof and stuff i i kind of knew what i was getting into so that was uh, helpful um but over here, we do have a little bit of um, resources as well. Just some random plant-based stuff. There's a spruce biome just over that way, which I've been collecting spruce for just like general building stuff. And then this was filled with limestone, but that's over there, which is the first main project that we're going to do. Actually, the first main project that we're going to do is uh, our cows look a little sad, don't you think? So the first thing I'd like to do is clear this area out uh, so that this is perhaps a little bit more level or if it's not a little more level, I may make uh, I might make this a little pond. That could be kind of fun. But regardless, make this whole like lower section right here from like this point on over to a right around here, an area that is just for our cows. And then we can also make a little building for them to be out of the rain whenever there's rain. And I'll also be, well, I probably actually am not gonna breed them until after we're done because that's just too much to mangle, manage, mangle, manage. I don't want to mangle my cows. So that's project numero uno that I'd like to do that we're going to jump into right here at the beginning. But then the second project is storage. And that's what this place over yonder is. Let's go to our storage area. So you can see I've already been playing around with trying to figure out what in the world the build is. And so I've got this. I flattened this mountaintop out. And I'm thinking we're going to go kind of like this interesting temple vibe. Not totally done with the uh, the idea of it quite yet. It's going to be taller as well. But I'd like to make our storage area. And this is going to be like our main bulk storage is kind of what I'm thinking. So I want it to feel interesting. Uh, and I wanted the builds to fit into an aesthetic. And so this is kind of the aesthetic we're going to go for. For any sort of bigger build is more this like incan temple type of thingy and so the idea is as you can tell from over there the uh, whole idea is that like that building if left for hundreds of years would not feel as like built up because all the that wooden material would be disintegrated and gone over the years and so all that would remain is like this stone nothing else there will be this will not have really any wood i don't think in it 
but our house, all that would remain is the stone portion. And so I think that fits really well and like is is probably honestly a little bit more accurate to what the Incans maybe had in their civilization, where there were some materials that just over time disintegrated and were lost to the ages. And so I'm, I want to kind of envelop that into our build style. But the main issue that I, I'm having is that we need this block here. So I ended up, I was able to make some limestone, like mossy limestone bricks using vines. That's the only way you can make it. But um, I ran out of vines and I don't have any to be able to continue making it. And I really want to use that on there because it'll tie in the regular limestone and the limestone bricks really well because their colors don't match perfectly. But when intermixed, they work really well together. So that out of the way, let's go get to building ourselves a cow pen. Woo! Alrighty, the farm area is done, at least for the cow pen. That is all nice and done. We're going to take a look at it in a second. Uh, just wanted to let you know, I did find a, went and found a jungle. It was a little ways away, but I went and found one. And now we have access to vines and lake, uh, coconuts. What are they called again? Cocoa beans, not coconuts. Cocoa beans. I guess they could act as coconuts. Um, but I'm really liking having a dish, like more than just our house i think having this additional building is actually really nice eventually i want the pathway to come down here as i've kind of marked with the gra rocky gravel stuff um and then i'm trying to figure out i haven't done all the pathway because i'm trying to figure out how to best weave it so i wanted to connect up to here i like this air this kind of platform here but then there needs to be a connection made to that pathway which I'm not exactly sure how to do. I don't know if we're going to just kind of split it off and wrap it down here and then kind of dip the road further so that it's like a nice shallow road or if we're going to do like switchbacks or something. I'm not really sure. But here is the cow farm area, just the cow pasture, I guess. And um, no living situation here. This is purely for the cows. Um, so really just enjoying the overall aesthetic tried to do some fun interesting stuff hello cow um instead of doing some just like decor stuff on the side decided to bump it out and make an actual like window type of thing where you can have a ledge and set stuff but they cannot actually get out so i really dig that there's one on the other side as well that cow is also in um really really digging it so the pathway will go down this way the walls are all nice and crumbly looking and eventually what I would like to do is I would like to be able to tear this entire village down essentially and make it, it this all like a terraced farmland. I think that is the uh, goal for this area is I'd like to, to move the villagers up to our village in the mountains. But then I'd also like to really utilize the mountain sign to make it like I think like Incan cultures, I, I believe, had like those very terraced landscapes. Uh, to where they had terraced farmland and stuff. And that's kind of what I want to go for. That's kind of what all this is inspired by. It's more like ink and stuff and trying to think through like what the cult, what the builds would look like prior to like a ruined version of them, if that makes sense. Because all the wood and all the thatch would be gone. Um, and so that's just, yeah, that's kind of what we're taking inspiration from. Piggy, stay in here. We do have one pig in here. Not really sure why he is in here, but... He's welcome nonetheless. You, yes, you are. Do you think you're a cow? Do you think you're a cow? I think he thinks he's the cow. But this is the uh, sort of just like the shelter from the rain type of area where they have a feeding trough, a little bit of a hay area. And then we've got just this fun little uh, pasture here. And I've been breeding them up slowly but surely. I did a little bit of killing of them. Just a little bit, not too much, but I really like it. They've got like this nice outside area with like a little pond to be able to cool down in if they want. But then if it's raining and stuff, they have access to be able to just get in here and get away from the rain. So that is the cows all done. Now I'd like to bring our attention to that guy right there. I'd like to get the main build of that done. Let's go to storage here. Um, I'd like to, yeah, get the main build done here for this. 
Um, basically, what I want to do is just get the exterior done. I'm not going to commit to fully doing the storage system quite yet. Uh, primary reason is because I, because there's so many blocks, I want to really take my time to actually figure out how I want to organize this stuff. Uh, and I think because there's so many blocks, it's just going to take me a little bit extra time to process and figure it out. So that is what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up. I've gone and gathered some different resources and things. Nice thing is we don't necessarily need vines to get mossy limestone because there's a uh, spruce biome that is over that way. And so they have mossy cobblestone kind of like boulders throughout. So I can just go grab some of those, which is real nice. But I'm going to go ahead and build this guy up and I'll build this up. This is just a smaller version for our valuables. Uh, and then I'll be back with you with the final results. What a beautiful sight this is. I love this build style and how we're developing it because my gosh, this is just awesome. It looks so cool. I love having these things in the background of our house. It just looks so neat. Like I can walk out, I can be getting some stuff from the furnace or whatever, and then just kind of be like, oh, I'm waiting for this. I can just view the horse that's all the way over there and it's just oh it's so cool i just love it i love it now i'm gonna be honest i uh i've been having some issues with the pack mainly it's just like resource pack issues like i don't know what it is but the uh i think the order of the texture packs has uh been affecting the ability for me to like see things if that makes sense actually let's check the anvil see if uh, that also was an issue because of the order of the texture packs because there's like three different texture packs you've got conquest reforged you've got the create mod oh my gosh it fixed it it was just a freaking order all right i'm thrilled i am thrilled so let me here let me show you We've got these three mod packs. And so originally I had mod resources down at the bottom. I had this at the top and this in the middle. But after playing around with it, I just reordered it and was like, well, fine. If I if that's not going to work, then maybe what I need to do is put this guy at the bottom and all that crap. So that's what I did. Um, I'm potentially going to play around again with maybe putting this on top because I think this conquest in mods is potentially the thing that is giving the texture to the waystone and then uh the this is actually giving the original texture for the waystone so i'm not really sure if that's what's causing the issue but it's good to know that the anvil has been fixed at least moderately now let's go over to the storage Ooh, i love it now of course uh the uh, grass hasn't grown but that's okay and uh, this one's interior is not done. It is just a uh, a hole. And uh, so I'm going to I'm going to be working on that in my own time and stuff. But I'm thinking what we're going to do is actually just I think I can get rid of these. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to make a row of three chests here. They'll stick out to roughly here. And so there will be that on either side, like this. Um, and then we'll be able to just kind of have three sections, because this the entrance isn't going to have anything. Uh, it'll have three sections of chests that stick out to here. So you'll really just have like this small area. But that it, that's a fine. It doesn't need to be anything particularly interesting. It just needs to look OK. Now, this bad boy, I did quite a bit of work on i did the entire interior i know i told you i wasn't going to do the interior but i did so we have this fun little entrance and then oh oh look at this isn't it beautiful it's a nice simple storage solution but it looks phenomenal except for this rando log that i forgot to chop down give it back thank you and look at the up uh, up on the ceiling oh it looks so good with all the arches oh i love it now shaders is causing a few little issues but in regular vanilla no shaders it looks 
even better. Actually, I, I'll, I'll, I think the graphical issues are really not that big of a deal. But oh, I love everything. Uh, the hanging stuff is probably my favorite thing about this re this mod pack. Like I genuinely, it's probably my favorite thing because look at it. It just adds so much. Like imagine if we had a brazier in Minecraft. Can you just imagine that? That would be sick. Or hanging flowers or something like a hanging flower pot. Oh, it would be so cool. But the general gist of it, I, I just really wanted to make it feel like nice and cozy. That was kind of the goal. Uh, so I, I really didn't do too much with it. Uh, I just wanted to add in some random pots and stuff just to make it look like it's kind of a storage house. And then we have our main storage. And so the way I'm going to organize it, I think, is each column will be kind of something in particular so this is the tree section obviously so we've got oak spruce birch jungle and then that's going to be dark oak um and acacia is going to be probably with jungle uh or birch it's going to be one or the other um just because i don't use acacia all that much but the main gist of what we're going to be doing is this is going to be containing all these random bits uh the cobblestone section is uh, more laid out and this will be cobblestone this will be like stone and then this will be like stone bricks and then this is the kind of what i'm meaning is like all the random bits that we get that don't fit in to a category like a main broad category is just going to be tossed in here because like i'm not going to get rid of the two limestone pillars because i'll use them eventually but i don't want to put them into the chest so that's kind of what i'm thinking for this that's kind of the general idea but oh my gosh isn't this just beautiful i love it so uh i think that we're pretty set now i want to add one more not in today's episode of course but i want to add one more of these guys make it maybe a middle size or potentially like about the exact same size as this um and i want to throw it maybe up here potentially like uh off over here and make it a little further away so it sticks out still like you can still see it from our house but it, it's just a little bit further in the distance and i want it to be enchanting uh, i think that would be good to have kind of like three of these guys sitting out here on the mountaintop i think that would be really really cool and uh, i think yeah it, i think the enchanting station would actually fit perfectly in this smaller one if i'm actually if i'm being honest Ooh, an egg good um yeah, because you could put the bookshelves literally like smack in the center. That would be perfectly fine. And do some crazy bookshelf stuff in the top. Yeah, I think that would be cool. But I mean, can you really get mad at this view? Oh, uh, we've done so much today and I am so thrilled. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like in real life. Um, and next episode, I think we're going to focus on getting geared up. All this iron gear is kind of annoying to deal with and I don't really love it. And um, we also, I think, may go the leather route if that changes. I'm not wearing armor here because I hate the sound of it. Like it gets, it's overpowering. So unless, I, I know there's options that I figured out that you can change audio stuff. So I may play around with that to see if that's possible. Um, but if not, we may just wear leather to see if it has a different sound effect. And if it does and it's not as intrusive, then we may go with that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in the next episode of The Brewery. Uh...